So in a previous video, we had seen how we can call a VI dynamically. In this video, we will see another method of calling a VI dynamically. So first, let's create a, a project for our dynamically loaded VI. Let's create a blank project. Click Finish. Let's save this project. Let's create a new project, a no new folder for this project. Let's call it dynamically loading VI's part 2 let's create a sub VI in this example we will be loading a dialog box dynamically let's create the dialog box first let's create place a, a decoration on its front panel next let's create a label Let's enlarge it. And let's make it bold as well. Let's place uh, case uh, error in and error out let's resize the front panel so that only this part is visible let's save it Let's call it dialog box. Let's go to its block diagram. We will have a while loop. The only job of this while loop is to hold this dialog open for about let's say three seconds three thousand milliseconds create constant turn it to true and then we would want the front panel of this VI to close uh, usually when the VI stops its front panel does not close to so create a reference 
and then we will create a uh, property rather a method front panel close we'll close this front panel of this vi so let's tidy this block diagram up and let's close this vi we are done coding with this vi So now let's go and create our main VI which will be calling our dialog box. Let's save this VI first. Let's call it main. The first we will be needing a path for this VI. current VI's path then we will be building path build path and we would be needing the name for our dialog box along with the extension create a constant we'll go one step then we will open a reference to this VI then we will call a method for opening the front panel I want the front panel to show let's create a control error control let's pass the error wire the we want the front panel to be activated when it is called so let's create a constant and turn it to true the state would be standard then we will want this vi to run so create a method run vi wait until done will be false we don't want it we don't want this vi to wait for the uh, dialog box auto dispose will be true the calling the called vi the dialog box will dispose its own um, reference so let's close the reference of the vi that we has we have opened and we will create an error out indicator and this is about all that we need to do so let's go and test our VI uh, let's turn on execution highlighting so that we can see in slow motion how this VI works so let's run it the path is so the dialog box created is loaded it's waiting for three seconds it closes and we are done so as you as you saw we are loading this dialog 
box vi dynamically into the memory running it it's closing its own front panel which we have already coded inside it and then we are closing the reference so this the dialog box vi is called when it is needed loaded in memory and then it's disposed and no extra load is being put on the memory so this is how we can use this method to load vi dynamically when needed thanks for watching